All right, welcome America, welcome India, welcome Selena Gomez to the live studio recording in 202 Free Calculus. What we're gonna do is we are going to see if we can find, uh, fill in the information for some of these uh, trick functions. So we're gonna start with problem number three. We've already done problems one and two, so we kind of have an idea about what to do. You guys have tried these problems. The amplitude is the absolute value of that number in, oh, okay, in front. We have a negative one in front of our cosine here. The amplitude is gonna be one, the absolute value of one. Did we get that? On your test, don't select negative one. That's one, the amplitude is one. Okay, the period of the parent function is two pi divided by b. So over here, two pi divided by, in this case, b is four. So that's gonna be pi over two is our period. Get the phase shift in a minute. I can tell a vertical shift is gonna be up three. We good so far? Last part is the phase shift. We're gonna, am I going too fast? Anyone have questions on what I've done so far? All right, so now phase shift. We're gonna go ahead and set this parentheses equal to zero. So four X minus pi equals zero. That's gonna be four X equals pi, and we're solving for that X. So when you divide by four, notice it ends up being a positive value. So it's just gonna be plus pi over four. Okay, so cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So we're just gonna solve this like it were, like it was a sine um, function. The amplitude's going to be three. The period is two pi divided by b. b is four thirds. We don't ever divide by the reciprocal. We always divide by a fraction. We multiply by the reciprocal. So how do we multiply? Two pi times the reciprocal of four thirds is three fourths. I can tell two goes into two once, two goes into four twice. This is gonna be three pi over two. Three pi over two. Clearly the vertical shift is gonna be down five. Taking that whole function and moving it down five. That midline's gonna go down five. Phase shift is the last part. And the algebra, sometimes we have questions on here. If I set this whole parentheses equal to zero, my first step is gonna to be to move the pi over two to the other side and make it negative. I'm just gonna start there. So 4 thirds x equals negative pi over two. Now, I'm gonna multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 4 thirds in a different color. Three fourths. I know some of us had algebra during COVID, so we're not comfortable with doing solving equations like this. But now you can see we've got x equals negative three pi over six, and that can be simplified to negative pi, oh, where am I, here we go, uh, negative pi over two. I'm checking my work. Sorry. Yeah. Where did I have an eight? Oh my gosh, I added. So let me erase, thank you so much. I would have had to delete my video and now I don't. Booyah, negative three pi over eight. Negative, thank you so much. Did you guys check the rest of my work? It looks good. All right, we're gonna stop this and we're gonna make another video for the next section. Peace out.